tail of the tape for this next bout is about to unfold, folks. In the red corner, we have the reigning coffee maven, Starbucks. And in the blue corner, the fierce fast food queen, Wendy's. Let's dive into the details, Joe. Oh, I can already taste the excitement, Mike. Starbucks, 32 years old, 5 feet 1 inch tall, 110 pounds, 63 inch reach. Impressive numbers. Absolutely, Joe, but let's not overlook Wendy's in the blue corner. She's 30 years old, 5 feet tall, 105 pounds, 61 inch reach. It's going to be a close battle. Size may not be everything, Mike. But these petite powerhouses are about to show us why they're forces to be reckoned with. Starbucks, fueled by her brewing expertise, will bring the heat. No doubt. Starbucks, known for her precision, hitting opponents with a relentless flurry of flavors. But don't sleep on Wendy's, who's got that fast food flair always ready to throw down with a side of spice. Absolutely, Mike. Wendy's serves up a mean fight, delivering a bold and tasty experience. It's like a battle of culinary creations where coffee meets burgers in the most delicious way. Starbucks might try to keep Wendy's at bay with her reach advantage, but Wendy's will be moving like a burger-loving ballerina, closing the distance in a flash. I can already picture it, Mike. Starbucks brewing up a storm, staying composed amidst Wendy's relentless attacks. It's a clash of taste and tenacity where each fighter's unique flavors collide. That's the beauty of mixed martial arts. It's about the passion, the technique, and the flavor they bring to the cage. Get ready for an unforgettable showdown between Starbucks and Wendy's. Fight introductions by Bruce Buffer. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. In the fast food corner, we have Jackbox, the charismatic mascot of a popular restaurant chain. Opposite him, representing the fried chicken world, is the legendary Colonel Sanders. Let's break it down, Joe. Absolutely, Mike. Starting with Jackbox, he stands at six feet tall and weighs in at approximately 175 pounds. With a reach of 72 inches, he's got the length to keep his opponents at bay. And as for his age, Jack Box has been around since 1995, making him 28 years old. That's right, Joe. Now let's move on to Colonel Sanders. He stands slightly shorter at 5 feet 10 inches and carries a weight of around 200 pounds. With a reach of approximately 74 inches, he can really extend those punches. Colonel Sanders, born in 1890, is an astonishing 133 years old. It's a battle of height, reach, and experience. Jack Box, the young upstart against Colonel Sanders, the seasoned veteran. The culinary ring is about to witness an epic clash between these two iconic figures. Absolutely, Joe. The tale of the tape is set. And the culinary clash between the 28-year-old Jack Box and the seasoned chicken master, Colonel Sanders, promises to be a legendary encounter. Get ready for a finger licking good fight. Bruce Buffer with the official fight introductions. And we're live here at the fast food fight of the century. And the tale of the tape for this evening in this corner, weighing in at 310 pounds and standing at six feet tall with a reach of 72 inches and an age of 57 years old, it's the one and only Ronald McDonald. And in the opposite corner, representing Burger King, weighing in at a whopping 380 pounds and standing at six feet four inches tall with a reach of 74 inches and an age of 68 years old, he's the flame broiled king himself, the Burger King. This is going to be a real interesting fight, Joe. Ronald McDonald may be the lighter of the two, but he's got some serious speed and agility. And at 57 years old, he's still got plenty of fight left in him. Yeah, but the, the Burger King is a big guy. At 380 pounds, he's got some serious power behind those punches. And at 68 years old, he's got a lot of experience to draw from. Absolutely, Joe. And let's not forget about the height and reach advantage that the Burger King has. With a reach of 74 inches, he can really keep his opponents at bay. But Ronald McDonald is no slouch either. At six feet tall with a reach of 72 inches, he's got some serious skills. And that clown makeup can be quite intimidating. This is going to be one tasty battle, folks. Who do you think is going to come out on top? It's hard to say, Mike. Both of these guys are legends in the fast food world. But one thing's for sure. This is going to be a fight that no one will forget. And the tale of the tape for this evening certainly sets the stage for an epic battle. And with our official fight introductions, once again, here is Bruce Buffer. 